At the height of insecurity along Djibouti's Indian Ocean coastline in the mid-2000, Kenya dispatched a military contingent to Djibouti in an effort to make the entire coastal inaccessible to the pirates. Colonel retired Dennis Gichangi Ndongo was part of this mission and he narrates his experience in tonight's episode of Military Tales with our own Nisi Imano. The eldest in a family of 12, Dennis Kishangindongo, was born in 1958 in Kirinyaga County. Livelihood was working around tea farms and, uh, you know, looking after cattle. After primary school, Ndongo joined Mangu High School in 1975 to pursue his dream of becoming an engineer. Scored well, but didn't, didn't opted not to go to the university uh, because uh, the, what I wanted to pursue, engineering, uh, had fallen short by one grade. A golden opportunity presented itself shortly after, and Dongo did not hesitate to take it. And then my uncle uh, had an announcement that the Air Force uh, is recruiting tomorrow, and I went. You are accommodated there doing interviews day and night. On the 25th of May 1977, Dennis Kishangi Ndongo was recruited to the Kenya Air Force and was taken for cadet training. I never even had opportunity to tell my uncle that I had, uh, I had gone. There were no telephones or anything, so we just were just loaded uh, in, uh, into a truck and off to Nakuru. Once back to base in Isli, Ndongo went into administration and human resource training. I was in administration, which involved other many areas, security, uh, pay reviews, and such other things that were important in maintaining personnel, maintaining soldiers in the, uh, in the armed forces. Colonel Ndongo was then sent to Congo for his first peacekeeping mission. Uh, so our job mainly was to establish contact with the rebels and establish uh, rapport with them in order to you know, to engage them and uh, lead them to laying down their arms, getting down to the negotiating table. Unfortunately, the war in Congo rages on decades later. The objective has still not been met. Conflict can be that long, that painful. Uh, yes, because there's a lot of years lost. Between 2008 and 2009, Kanon Dongo went to Djibouti at the early stages of Kenya's involvement in international peacekeeping missions. That was a time piracy was at its highest at the Indian Ocean. Eh? Piracy was uh, an issue, global issue. Pirates on the international waters captured ships and extorted many by demanding ransoms. So that became a global issue because of trade routes were, had been cut off. This was mainly due to fallout in Somalia because the government had collapsed, so there was uh, anarchy. With piracy came terrorism. So, and one of the nerve centers of terrorism became Somalia. Global forces, uh, you know, came up uh, with Djibouti, to Djibouti to be their center of operations to check piracy and to check uh, to counter terrorism. This mission was to be his final mission in the Air Force. Another very good experience working with multilateral uh, institutions, global engagement with all countries, Chinese, Europeans, Americans, Africans, so on. Very interesting uh, experiences. What does the colonel take from his time in the military? There are many, many things, but when you ask for one, one would be the resilience, yes. the, the will to continue doing things until, until uh, never to give up. Colonel retired Dennis Kishangi Ndongo left the Kenya Air Force in the year 2012 after 34 years of military service. For Prime Edition, Amnesi Imano.